this case we're going to place an implants in 14 and 15. Um, to do that what I'll do is isolate the uh, maxillary. So I'll go to surfaces, isolate, and um, I'll click on the mandible to remove the maxilla and then I'll just press invert. So now what I need to do is <coughs> enlarge this. You can see there's a lot of scatter on this. Turn that down. I need to add some teeth. So I'll go in here and press 14. And add 15. And then I could turn this back on to see the bite. And the CT scan was taken with a jig in the anterior, so the patient's not fully occluded. But it looks as if, for the most part, this is within acceptable limits for a diagnostic wax up for these molars. So what we'll do is go back to invert <coughs> and then start placing our implants. We have two implants to place in here. In 14, I'd like to place a at least a five millimeter implant. I'm pretty sure it's a 10 millimeter length. So no, that's not gonna be right. Um, I'm going to hit the floor of the sinus first, so I'll have to change this to an 8, replace this implant. 8 millimeters, go into abutments, and I'm going to turn abutments off. Back into implants, 8 millimeter implant. All right, so 15. Do the same thing, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be shorter than that. We'll put a 6. <coughs> So that's actually hitting the floor of sinus there. And uh, what I'll do is I'll bump the sinus up on both of these implants. I wonder why I'm getting that. S implant is too close to implant one. Oh, actually, this needs to come forward a little bit. All right, let's see how this looks. <coughs> Not too bad coming out the occlusal on both of these. So we'll lock in our implants for now and look at these in cross section. <laughs> so in cross section, you can see I'm obviously off. So I'll unlock, th that's the teeth. I'll go into the implants, unlock those. Changes, so I'm in the bony housing and look at it from all angles. That looks good. Again, I'll stop at the floor of the sinus <clears throat> and then bump that up. Maybe some versa drills. So now we'll look at the other implant. It's a little close to the molar. Completely out the housing. Doesn't look right. Looks good there. This two's throwing me off. So now it looks like I'm off here, trying to get it into the right. This tooth might be off. I need to double check that. <coughs> Which would make restoring a little bit more difficult. Let's see how we're looking. Better. Better restorability, better in bone. Better against the 
adjacent tooth. These implants are real close to each other. Let's measure the distance. <coughs> Four millimeters. I'm placing platform switched implants, so I think we'll be good. All right. Let's turn this off. And then... So I'll turn the implant abutments on. We'll use a pilot drill kit. Okay. So now what we got to do is lock our implants... And then go ahead and draw our guide. <coughs> guide panel. Um, turn our teeth off. Guide panel. Maxilla. Draw curve. Hold down shift. Edit curve. Doesn't look that bad. I actually could move this implant over a little bit more. So I'll do that real quick. Let's see, implant. Like that. Make sure I'm good. I forgot I can't do that. Okay. So what I'll do is here. Blow this up. Two millimeters. Okay, I'm good. <coughs> All right. So I have a little more space between these implants. This looks off here. Let's see if I can take this implant and rotate it buckily. better it looks like it's more of an angle here so if I could bodily move it <coughs> it's not a lot of bone right there I'm gonna stick with this <coughs> and rotate it okay all right and then so we'll go into guide panel and create surgical guide Make sure you always save your work, and then what we'll just do is file export data. <coughs> and that's it.